Hi all, my lovely Patreon subscribers, YouTube subscribers, Facebook friends, Carissa students and so on. Just a little function be out and update. And it's not very seasonal weather. Um, we have had some beautiful days, but it's been raining, ground's a bit wet and yeah, you know, lots of cloud. But I will be decorating my May bush out at the gateway um, this evening and we will be tying on our intentions. My youngest has gone off to visit friends in town for the night so he's done his before he left. And I'm seeing the signs of blossoming everywhere. Um, you know, we have the buttercups. And the blackthorn has all faded now, appropriately. And down in the little grove here, the trees are pretty much all in leaf, although very sadly, um, the ash is definitely suffering ash dieback. And I don't know if they're completely beyond help, if they're beyond recovery at this stage now I think they may well be um, I'm just going to get behind this camera now just so you can see the three cornered leaks have just literally taken over the whole garden lots of Herb Robert here and primroses in there And the rowan, no flowering just yet, but lots of beautiful new leaves. And the elder, which, you know, came as a tiny, tiny little seedling. And it is just doing really, really well. I'm really happy with it. So our alder is here. And the beautiful little oak, little treeling with all its beautiful new leaves. And there's lots of hazel planted along the hedge there. So that sense of blossoming and abundance. Um, lots of these little cuckoo flowers coming up as well, all over. So just coming back to you here now that was the back of my hand there um or it wasn't it was my palm anyway so here I am rambling in the garden and rambling but just as the blossoming is happening as you know everything is springing to life in nature this is the time for us to kind of do the same to harness that energy and that can be challenging today is also the 22nd anniversary of the death of a very good and much loved friend of mine and I, I feel the emotion of that this time every year and it's just so at odds with that life force energy of Bjelthana in so many ways. Um, so it's not always something we can contrive to just go oh yes I'm in a sense of abundance and blossoming and life force if life is not like that at the moment. but. Um, if possible, this is the time to really put our energy out there and to see that manifestation of all those ideas, creative projects, everything we've been working on through the dark of the year. And I just love these apple blossoms. They just really have that sense of beauty and abundance. And watching these every day, this particular hawthorn is the one with the most buds on. And you can sort of see the white tips already. So I don't think they're going to be open for tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah, 1st of May. So May Day, um, lots of folk traditions associated with May Day. I will be strewing flowers at my threshold tonight. And I'll be out here in the grass tomorrow morning at sunrise 
I give my face a lovely wash in the May morning dew. But our astronomical cross quarter day of Bialthana will be sort of fourth, fifth. Um, so that'll be the day I come out and do, you know, my fire and a family ceremony. As it happens, uh, students will be here tomorrow, priestess training students. So we will certainly light a fire and have a little ceremony. And then at the weekend, two different groups I'm involved in. I will be at ceremonies for them. And on the 6th, I will be ordaining two of our Kurasush priestesses who deferred from a previous year. And then on the 11th, it will be up to the Ishnak Fire Festival with the Kurasush women. And I'm very much looking forward to that. So blessings of the season, because it is a whole season, whatever it is that you do, um, may your intentions blossom, uh, may your creative projects, your life be blessed with fertility, uh, blessings of Eru and Queen Maeve upon you. And uh, for those on Patreon, our Patreon Bialthana Wheel of the Year workshop will be on Saturday evening at 7.30pm Irish time and I am about to record, last day of April, I'm about to record our April story which will be the coming of the Milesians because they came in on the eve of Bialthana and uh, we will have a journey to Maeve. So all of that to come, lots of love to you all. Grow August and Slangafoil. <laughs>